Renal nutcracker syndrome is when the left renal vein, which drains blood from the left kidney, gets squeezed between two arteries, the superior mesenteric artery and the abdominal aorta. It's kind of like the renal vein is the nut and the two arteries are the nutcracker. Now, blood heading toward the lower body exits the left ventricle, swoops around the aortic arch, and then flows downward through the descending aorta, which is a large, muscular blood vessel about as thick as a thumb. The descending aorta runs along the back of the abdominal wall next to the spine, where it's called the abdominal aorta, until it splits into the common iliac arteries. The abdominal aorta gives rise to a lot of smaller arteries, including three unpaired arteries, the celiac artery, the superior mesenteric artery, and the inferior mesenteric artery, all three of which branch off the anterior wall and supply blood to the digestive tract. It turns out that the renal vein, which carries blood returning from the kidney to the heart, passes right between the aorta and the superior mesenteric artery. The angle formed between these two vessels is called the aorto-mesenteric angle, and it's usually around 45 degrees, with the renal vein being cushioned a bit by fat in the mesentery. If that aorto-mesenteric angle is reduced, the arteries start to pinch the left renal vein like a nutcracker, preventing blood from getting back to the heart. This leads to a backup of blood in the left kidney and renal hypertension. Over time, the high pressures can cause small breaks in the renal blood vessels, and a tiny bit of blood can even get in the urine. Also, the left testicular vein drains into the left renal vein, so in men, blood ends up backing up into the left testicle as well. In young people, reduction of the aorto-mesenteric angle can happen due to normal growth, as well as changes in body proportions. As a result, sometimes the angle can widen just as easily as it narrowed. In adults, the most common cause is extreme weight loss as the result of severe or prolonged illness, like cancer, HIV and AIDS, drug use, and anorexia nervosa. Regardless of the cause, nutcracker syndrome typically results in left flank pain and hematuria, or blood in the urine. The backup of blood on the left side can also cause a varicocele in men which is engorgement of the testicular veins, in this case, the left testicular veins. Nutcracker syndrome can be diagnosed by imaging the left renal vein, with something like ultrasound, and then measuring the blood flow and the aorto-mesenteric angle, which can get as narrow as 6 degrees. The main treatment for this is simply weight gain, because when the mesenteric fat pad gets fatter, it widens the aorto-mesenteric angle relieving the left renal vein compression. In severe situations where gaining weight doesn't do the trick, surgery might be needed to place a stent within the vein to keep it open. Alright, as a quick recap. Nutcracker syndrome is when the left renal vein is squeezed between the superior mesenteric artery and the aorta, because that aorto-mesenteric angle gets too narrow. This causes increased pressure in the left renal vein, which can lead to hematuria and flank pain as well as a left-sided varicocele in men. Nutcracker syndrome can be corrected with weight gain, and sometimes, if necessary, surgery. Hey, what's happening guys? Thanks for watching that short video on Nutcracker syndrome. Um, if you want to do a deeper dive on that topic, you should head over to osmosis.org. We've got a bunch of flashcards and quiz questions and other awesome stuff to help you learn medicine. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Otherwise, you can always support us by donating on Patreon and subscribing to our channel and following us on social media. This particular video was written by Krista, and I believe this was her first video. So congrats, Krista. I think the script turned out really well. Um, and then Rishi did the editing of the script and I did the illustrating and Yifan did the video editing. So thank you to everyone who helped make that video. I think it turned out really well. Till next time. Bye guys.